Hi guys, I've just done the first portage. It's about 200 metres. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm buggered. It's, it's probably about 32 degrees out at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of cooking. Uh, and I've got a fair bit of gear I had to lug as well, like my backpack. Got some wood, because I don't want to use uh, wood from the bush. I want to try and untouch this place, keep it, keep it as it is. And then I've got my kayak. That thing weighs about 32 kilos, so as you can imagine, it was a, it was a pretty tough journey. So my plan is to head down that way, and I'm basically going to be going on a 42k expedition. So I'll check back in with you once I'm on the water. All right, guys, we're out on the water. I must say, after all that hard work, it's well worth it. I mean, just look at this. This is a pretty remote part of SA. There's no one really around for for miles and miles, except for the odd scatter of people along the river. It's a really good place to come and reflect. Just appreciate nature. Things that so many people take for granted. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the ride. These fallen tree branches provide excellent structure for the fish. They love it. It's a good spot to fish. Fortunately, it's Murray Cod closure period at the moment here, which means that I can't troll me lure out the back. So I'm going to be doing some uh, cast and retrieve once I get to camp, which is never as successful, but hey, you never know.
think while I've got the chance I'm going to throw a thermal jumper on. I've got sunscreen on but this Australian sun is just relentless. It'll burn you to a crisp before you even know it. And I really don't want that because I'm on a couple of day expedition here and it really sucks to be sunburnt. Alright folks, I'm back on the water. For stuff it. It's probably a bit too hot to wear a thermal. So I just bunged on a bit more sunscreen. Hopefully it'll do the job and I won't get burnt. I'm one of those people where all I have to do is step into the sun without sunscreen and I start frying. Sucks, but it is what it is. Look at these old trees. Absolutely remarkable. Like giant sentinels watching over the ecosystem. Look at that, eh? Tree's fallen over and it's just taken off again. I love seeing stuff like that.
there's a couple of old ruins I actually want to check out along this route but I muddled up the portage and thought it was somewhere else and wasted about an hour bar assing around trying to find a creek that wasn't there so we'll see how we go there's also a lake Lake Litra it's up just around the corner from where I'm camping and I'd like to check that out as well but we'll see about 12.30 at the moment it gets dark around what, 7 maybe 7.30 so we'll see yeah, that's some fast flowing water there on the left nice to know that I'm not paddling into it Interesting. It's kind of a fast flowing creek. Wouldn't have actually expected that. Is there any trouble with the Murray's? They got so many weirs and locks on it. Flow of water doesn't flow very fast. Ah, oh, better steer over the left here hit that log otherwise it'll be cactus well, this is nice <sighs> I don't have to put in much leg work and just let the let the river do the work for me as long as I don't fucking steer into any snags like that I'll be right faster flowing through here so I definitely know I'm going the right way because the map said that there was those two creeks coming off from the left there which means now I'll wind up around to the left Next, next offshoot left. This is a bit bloody sketchy. There she goes, Captain. All right, now it's like the river's flowing down that way, so I'm gonna have to fucking paddle here. Bugger. pretty much sums up what it's like just to the north of this region it is just barren plain desert pretty much in the desert now only thing that makes this area green is the river
oceans are everywhere up here on the river. Look like a snake poking out the water there. Uh, pretty sure it's just a branch. Oh, this is nice. Look at that view. It's remarkable. Love to just stop and think for a moment about where I actually am. Not many people would ever set foot on these shores, if any. It's like one of the last frontiers of the Murray. So your left arm got ripped apart and I crushed three vertebrae in my spine. Some bloody thing wrong with my left shoulder and whatever else they haven't found. I swear there's something wrong with my neck because I get a lot of trouble with that. Yeah. Like I say, I only live once. That's why I'm out here now, even though by the end of this trip I uh, barely be able to walk, it's all good, well worth it. Most people say, oh, that you don't hop on the motorbike anymore, ah, bloody oath I do, eh? Sometimes it, you know, get a bit silly, but in general I try to ride with a lot of caution or as aware of my surroundings cars around me what people are doing slowing down in situations which I think might present a risk I never stop riding not until I can't bloody walk anymore 
there's nothing really like a going through a hills run here in Adelaide. We've got some remarkable runs. I'll share some of those with you on my YouTube channel as well. glad I uh, go to the gym. If I put the power down on this I'm basically popping wheelies on the water. How's this old tree on the right here? Kind of reminds me of the hills have eyes, one of those bloody freaky looking monsters. All these weird growths over it. It's really nice coming through here actually. I don't have to worry about bloody houseboats or yobos in their freaking boats and jet skis fucking hooning past. Not even sure if they're allowed in here or can get here for that matter. Bloody starving already. I decided to not bring so much food with me this trip because I've got a bit of a gut I need to get rid of. So, I'm running on fumes, burning the old reserves, as they say, eh? really don't know why I bothered bringing some wood there's just that much of it around when you're not building a raging fire there's just you're not going to chew through much at all uh, but still I'm a believer in leaving a place as you found it or even better so if I see a bit of rubbish or something lying around on the ground I'll pick it up and chuck it in my bag. 